Hello, this is Darkcraft Scientist in partnership with se2blog.com. Today I'm going to be very quickly running through the process of creating a new unit in the StarCraft 2 Galaxy Editor. I will have some messages at the end if you want to skip to those at around 10 minutes. Anyways, so here I'm duplicating a unit. You can pick any unit for the base really, it doesn't matter. Just pick one that's similar to the end unit you want to have name it the plasma tower and I'm going to go through to all these leader alias other alias things change it to point to my new tower I'm going to quickly go through and delete these abilities uh, that I don't need i um, not really going to get into abilities with this tutorial just going to show you how to basically create a unit assign it an actor then give it a weapon and then assign an actor to that weapon so I'm just going to quickly add a new button for a hold fire command and rig it up and that's it for the unit for now. So here I'm going to choose an actor. Actors are the visual representation of units in the editor. I'm choosing the photon cannon because I want this unit to look like a photon cannon. And I'm going to rename it to plasma tower to match the unit name I have. As you can see when I do the suggest it says plasma tower 2 that means I already have a unit named plasma tower. Um, and I'm going to change the um, the prefix, editor prefix, and this is just a text field that makes it easier to find in the editor. I rename all my custom units to have the same prefix so it's easy to find them. So you can see here I have two plasma towers, I'm going to delete one. And I'm going to rename the other one so there's only one plasma tower. Okay, so this is the actor, the representation of my unit. Right now it's pointing to the photon cannon, and I want it to point to my new custom unit, which is the plasma tower. And I'm going to look through here, and I want to make sure that for the model, I want the model to point to the photon cannon, because it thinks there's a plasma tower model, because of that's my custom unit name, but there is no plasma tower. I want it to point to the photon cannon, otherwise it won't appear in the game. Then I want to go through this events. Events um, are stuff related to animations and attacks. You want to make sure that all the events are pointing to your custom unit, the plasma tower, and not to the photo photon cannon. So models point to the photon cannon. The events should point to plasma tower. Okay, and so now I'm going to the weapons, and I'm going to duplicate a weapon. Since I want it to look like a since I want it to behave like a battlecruiser uh, weapon, I'm going to copy the battlecruiser anti-ground weapon and I'm going to rename it and um, that's pretty much it for now. It has some fields that I need to change later but now I'm going to make some effects. So again I'm going to go to the battlecruiser effect that I want to copy. I'm going to duplicate um, the damage effect and the launch missile effect. So all the projectiles in the game have a launch missile effect associated with them. And if if I don't want to change how it looks, it's pretty easy. I just copy the damage, copy the missile. And then all I have to do is make the, uh, the, the missile point to the damage. And so the weapon will create the missile. The missile will fire. Uh, in this case, the battlecruiser shot will fire from my unit, the photon cannon, to the enemy when it hits it does the damage effect so the damage is in the damage effect and the the appearance of the attack is in the missile and the missile is just another word for projectile so now I'm going to go through re finish renaming all my um, all my effects so I'm going to name this one plasma tower missile because this is the projectile and the ID has to be unique so I can't have two things named plasma tower in any one section. So I can have a unit named plasma tower and a, an actor and a weapon and an effect all named the same thing but I can't have two effects or two actors named the same thing. And here I'm just adding some suffixes um, to tell me what it does. I'm just following the pattern of blizzard. So there, change the amount, that's how much damage the plasma tower damage effect does. Changing the armor reduction, that's a 50% um, reduction in enemy armor, so if the enemy had 100 armor, I would only count 50 armor against my attack. So 50% reduction 
Okay, now that attribute bonus is how much bonus damage I do towards different targets. So I made it do plus three damage versus massive. And now here, this is the attribute factor. This is a multiple. How much do you multiply your attack damage by against certain targets? So I made it deal double damage to structures. Okay, so there's nothing really else interesting. I'm going to go to my missile. So that's the damage effect. Um, doesn't point to anything. But here's my missile effect. Missile effect, I need to make it point to my damage effect because this art impact effect uh, decides when the damage is done. So I'm going to delete that validator. Um, that validator is something that helps battle cruisers choose valid targets and since my custom tower is going to have a different set of targets, I'm just going to delete the validator. Anyways, so now I go back to my weapon and make it point to the effect of the plasma tower missile. Um, and then I'm going to, for the display damage effect, I'm going to make it do the plasma tower damage. So the display damage effect is just what weapon to use. And you see here, I'm just quickly making it target. Right now, ground target was required. I changed it so ground target is not required.